So I feel like I always start off with a video by saying it's been a long time since I did whatever but it truly has been a long time since I did any sort of like hairstyling video for you guys um, I don't know it might have been like maybe two years so I just compiled all of my favorite and go-to hairstyles that are like all really easy they probably take me only like five minutes at most if that um, first I haven't styled my hair at all that's why it looks a little like <laughs> So this is kind of like my bed head. I don't think I even brushed my hair this morning. I'm just gonna really quickly like straighten my hair and like put some product in it to show you guys how I kind of like do my hair on a daily basis. So as usual, I'm using my favorite brush in the world. This is the wet brush. Also, my bangs are like really, really long because I'm growing out my bangs right now. So they're like, they're really long. I'm also growing out my hair, so it's getting to a really nice like length. I'm really happy with that. And I'm also growing out my undercut as well. So this is also growing really, really long. And then also usually I'll put a little bit of hair oil um, to make my hair look like really glossy and really healthy. So I just rub a little bit on my hands and then I will focus mainly on my ends because that's where it will look a little bit dry. And then with the remainder, I'll brush it through the front part of my hair. So let me just straighten my hair really quick. And today I'm going to curl in the last like inch of my hair just to like style it a little bit more. This is generally how I wear my hair on a daily basis. If I don't curl it inwards, then I'll curl it outwards. So these bangs, um, <laughs> they are ridiculously long right now. So how I separate them these days so that I can have thinner front bangs is that I'll take a rat tail comb and I will separate my bangs in like a upside down V. So like kind of like this and I will just sort of like thin out my bangs and I'll pin back the extra on the sides. So starting from the sides, I'm just going to follow the V that I already kind of have, but just thin it out a little bit and pull back all of that excess. And then I will accessorize with some clips. Um, these ones are my favorite ones right now. These ones are like little rhinestones. And then I'll just pin this back. And I also like to stack them. And then the bangs in the center that I have left over, I just kind of like spread this out a little bit. They are still quite long, but I think that having long but like sparse bangs is like really cute. But yes, this is hairstyle one. This is how I wear my hair on a daily basis. And then I will accessorize with a lot of clips and also maybe like headbands or like, um, I don't know, like hats and stuff. Next, let's move on to another one of my daily hairstyles. I've been wearing this one for years. I'm going to do two really tiny twin tails in the front. So using my rat tail comb, I'm starting at the base of my ear and then I'm working up in a small section until I get to the top of my head. And that's one. It looks a little silly like right here because I have that like extra bang, but I'm gonna just like clip that out of the way in a sec. And my go-to clips for this hairstyle are these like black pearled flowers. So I'll just clip it onto the base of the ponytail like that. 
Sometimes I will switch out the size of my hair clips depending on like what I'm wearing. Um, if I want something to be like a little more, I guess like bold. So yeah, this is what these pair of hair clips look like. So yeah, I really, really love these. And another pair that I've also been really liking recently are these really tiny golden flower clips instead. Um, kind of like the same theme, except these ones are like more dainty. So I will also just clip these at the base. I don't know, I just really think that like, um, like matching like flower hair clips specifically for this hairstyle is just really 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 cute So yeah, this is also another option for my flower hair clips that I also really like and next let's move into another hairstyle um, I am really really obsessed with these like hair bows They're like a scrunchie, but they have like a fabric bow on the back and I for this particular hairstyle, if I'm really, really lazy, I will just do my hair in the front like this and then I'll tie back all of my hair in the back and I'll just use like a cute like hair tie. And I will call it a day, honestly. And I like this look because rather than just having like a plain like ponytail tied back, um, I like how it looks with the front pulled back into like these like two little clips. And then I'll just secure it with a cute hair tie in the back. Sometimes instead of a ponytail, I'll also put this up in like a little bun, which I don't feel like doing today because that's a little bit too much effort. My hair is like ridiculously hard to put in a bun because of like my little mullet underneath. So yeah, this would also kind of, I guess, be what it looks like if I had a bun instead of a ponytail. So yeah, I really like this hairstyle to just like get all of like my hair out of my face. And then let's move on to a different hairstyle. So here is another one of my favorite like hair bow scrunchies. I think these ones are from Urban Outfitters. And I'm just going to take these two little pigtails that I've already tied up and I'm going to join them at the top and secure it with this ribbon that I have. And this is what this one looks like. Um, the reason why I keep the two like little pigtails at the top is because I like how it sections my hair into like a split in the top, but honestly, you don't have to do that. And also because luckily I have this like weird undercut, I can just tie this up and show you guys how this would look like with short hair as well because I think it would look super cute. So essentially, I think this is what this hairstyle would look like if I had short hair instead. So I think definitely this hairstyle is doable with short hair as well. Um, to do this like sort of half up, like high ponytail, I think you just have to use like some bobby pins here and there, but I think it's definitely doable. Let me just quickly style the bottom. Okay, so I just quickly curled the bottom of my mullet. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like, it actually looks like short hair. Like it looks legit. So yeah, this is what this hairstyle would look like with short hair instead. And then another version of this hairstyle that I really like for the summer is I'll split the hair that I have on the bottom and I'll braid each portion. This is probably my favorite hairstyle in this entire video. I just think it's so cute and so like summer friendly. Like all of my hair is like out of the way and it just feels like so nice. So yeah, I really like how this look, I think it's just so cute. Okay, so next look, let me just take off these braids. So for the next hairstyle, I'm just going to split my hair in half and I'm just going to tie them off into two high pigtails. So I've got two of my pigtails and next I'm just going to braid them off.
And definitely because I curled like the ends of my hair before, I think it looks like cuter after I braid my hair because it has this like little curl inwards. Um, I think it just looks like a little bit nicer and neater than just having it like stick straight out like a broom. And I can definitely wear this by itself, but I'm just going to accessorize again with my set of uh, rhinestone clips. And again, I'm just going to hold back this like portion of my bangs that I previously separated. I didn't realize it until now, but uh, I think my bangs have been kind of like wiggly in the front this entire time. I'm just gonna fix that really quick. So yeah, this is my hairstyle. Again, I really like this one. I think it's really, really cute. It's a little bit more like sporty looking than the other ones that I've shown you guys. And again, this like keeps up like all of my hair. So it's definitely really good for the summer. And yeah, I don't like do this hairstyle that often, but I do like keep it in mind whenever I want to like do something a little bit extra for my hair. I guess it's quite cute as well if I just like wear it. Um, without the braids, but I just think that because I have a lot like a lot of hair Even though I had half of it like shaved previously um, I still have a lot of hair So I just think this looks a little bit too like puffy and thick for I guess like my personal preferences But I think for other people it might look really cute to wear just like regular pigtails and like some accessories So now we are finally on to my last hairstyle and this is another version of my daily hairstyle that I do I just switch over like the front part of my bangs and using again my rat tail comb I'm just going to go pretty far over to um, like one side of my head, it kind of alternates I guess. I'm gonna brush all of my bangs to one side and then because I have like short bangs right now, um, in order to like uh, have like a side swept bang, I need to brush over more hair to cover my short bangs. So picking apart, I'm just going to pull all of that hair over. That looks pretty good. And then as you can see, like it kind of like hides like my short bangs. And then I'm just gonna brush everything out. And then depending on my outfit, I just usually like stack a couple of berets like right here just to keep everything in place. So I'm going to go in with some pearl berets. And I'm just gonna stack a few of my favorite ones because that's generally how I like to wear this look. And that's it, we are finally done with this video. These are just a couple of my go-to hairstyles and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been meaning to do like a hairstyles video for a long time, but just because these individually are all so like simple and quick and easy to do, I just decided to wait and like compile them all into like one video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys again next week.